Bolivia's new constitution has passed, but what differences it will make to the country once it is executed? It is says that the indigenous people would be granted more powers and carrying out community justice is one of them. However, there are con growing concern in the Bolivian society over the legitimacy of this indigenous practice. Bolivia passed a new constitution on January 25th, which might give more legitimacy to indigenous practice in Bolivia. One of them is the community justice, in which people bypass government authority to mete out punishment. Bolivian President Evo Morales hopes the new constitution will help the country's poor residents who can't afford lawyers. I still have to spend more, around 4,000 Bolivian pesos, I don't have money. The lawyer asks for 2,000 pesos. Voluting to Kona, Morales, vice minister of community justice, said the traditional indigenous ways of carrying out justice would carry the same weight as the government judicial system. When we talk about a multinational government, we are incorporating the rights of indigenous people in the new constitution, plainly and clearly. And those who still don't understand that, I want to explain to them that the project aims at an equal hierarchy for the ordinary justice system and a community justice system. In many areas, community justice has slowly disappeared since the conquest. But here in Potosi, indigenous people still bring their accused criminal before a community council. However, the maximum sentence in community justice is banishment, even for murder. In past years, faith in the justice system has gone down and people's anger has risen, leading to isolated incidents of vigilantism. Community justice was recognized by the states in 1994, but currently must be subjected to the government's judicial system. Bernardo Weil, the head of La Paz Law School, worries more power of community justice may justify attacks by indigenous people against people outside of their communities, possibly opposition members who are mostly of Spanish descent. The government is permissive because they are all political allies. This kind of justice, which was recognized in 1994, can be put on the same plane as ordinary justice when it applies to people who are members, not indigenous, not from a community. Rather, the element of belonging to the community is necessary for the person to be submitted to this kind of justice. This is not clear in the text of the Constitution, and this is the risk lawyers see. Rather, this is the big worry. There's also the worry that communities will level their insular form of justice on travelers in Bolivia. A popular spot for backpackers, Ticon says community justice is an inclusive measure, but is also against violent vigilantism. The ordinary justice loses credibility for the people. They don't trust it. Justice is for people who have money. So what kind of justice do we have in our country? People apply vigilante justice. Now we can't solve a crime with another crime. Wire aided charter will subject the judicial system to the opinions of the masses. Judicial power or judges can be legitimized by elections because the best ones won't necessarily be chosen. The ones who are most charismatic, have the most political support, gather the most voters and support the party in power will be chosen. And if they don't behave adequately, their power can be taken away. The referendum vote came after three years of sometimes violent confrontation between the popular Morales and conservative opposition leaders. The new charter will allow Morales to seek a second term in an election led this year and will also give indigenous groups greater representation in Congress and more autonomy in their home areas. TITV Weekly.